Are you guys suffering from dry and brittle nails such as seen over here? Well, for today's video, we will go through what causes our nails to be dry and brittle. We're also going to talk about the things to consider to maximize the healing capabilities of our nails and some nursing interventions that I can share with you to help heal those dry and brittle nails. And so if you're interested, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, kumusta kayo? And welcome back again to my channel. Dry and brittle nails are caused by many, many factors. Environmental factor is one of the most common. Our harsh winter causes dryness on the nails, which will then result in cracked and brittle nails, as well as an increase in humidity. The use of harsh chemicals such as seen in a lot of our cleaning agents and even some ingredients in skincare can destroy the nail's protective coating, which will then result in brittle nails. Frequent hand washing also causes brittle nails as it removes the natural moisture, causing the nails to be dry and brittle. Certain mannerisms such as nail biting is another factor. This creates trauma to the nails and destroys those protein structures, causing brittle and cracked nails. Another activity is that causes so much trauma to the nails, such as frequent nail polishing and the use of fake nails, increases the nail's susceptibility to damage. Underlying medical condition also causes a dry and brittle nails, such as seen with diabetes, thyroid disease, autoimmune disease, such as psoriasis, and much more. Nutritional deficiency also plays a big factor, especially if you are deficient in certain vitamins and minerals as well as proteins. Here are some of my nursing interventions that will help heal those brittle nails. Number one is to moisturize your hands and feet and that also includes your nails. Use products that contains urea. Urea is a great humectant. It helps to attract water, keeping your nails moisturized and soft. It's also a great keratolytic agent which will help to slough off those dead cells, revealing a more smoother and softer nails. One product that I recommend is the Urisec 10%. This is a great product. It's also in 20 22% such as this one and 40%. So depending on how brittle your nails are, you may try each of these. You can always start from the lowest percentage, then move your way up if the lower percentage doesn't work for you. So to use urea, prep your nails by washing them first. While they're still damp, apply just the right amount of urea all over your hands and feet, including your nails. Do this one to two times a day and as needed. If you are on a topical medication, apply the medication first, wait for 10 minutes, then apply your urea cream so at night I find that covering your hands with those soft mittens and covering your feet with socks after applying the urea cream gives a much better result if for some reason you're allergic or maybe sensitive to urea using just a regular Vaseline will do as well guys don't forget to use a broad spectrum sunscreen on your hands whenever you're out to protect your nails from sun damage make sure to reapply your sunscreen after sanitizing or hand washing and every two hours second is keeping a good nail high Hygiene. Make sure to trim your nails regularly and to keep your nails clean to prevent all sorts of infection. Third is a diet. I do understand that at times it's hard to maintain a well-balanced diet, but we all know that our diet plays a big role in maintaining healthy skin, hair, and nails. Try to consume foods that are rich in biotin and antioxidants. Biotin-rich foods can be obtained from eggs, vegetables, fish such as salmon, and in some nuts and seeds. If for whatever reason you're having a hard time to get all your biotin, try considering a supplement. But I do recommend that you talk to your doctor first prior to taking them. It's better to understand your current stand with your blood work first prior to consuming these supplements. Make sure to always stay hydrated and get enough fluids for better healing of the cells. Fourth, guys, is understanding your health condition, okay? If you have an underlying medical condition, it's very important that you see your doctor and keep everything on track. Brittle nails can be a sign of a serious medical condition that needs to be looked at. Keeping your medical condition under control can speed up the healing of your nails. Guys, always remember to monitor and assess your nails at all times. Assess for any changes in texture, color, any signs of infection, and thickness. If your nails continue to worsen in spite of all the care and treatments, please, I do advise that you see your doctor immediately for further assessment. So there we go with nursing 
in nail care. I hope that you guys enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please do leave them in the comment section down below. Always remember not to self-diagnose, but to seek medical help for proper treatments and a diagnosis. Anyways guys, makita kita ulit tayo on my next video. Bye-bye!